Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this happen so fast so I can get to the bottom of the bag because what's the bag? The bag is my Sephora haul bag. It's a tote that they give you away when uh, you spend $100 or more. Well, for Christmas, my husband had given me a, um, <clears throat> please excuse my throat, I'm still trying to get better, I'm trying to drink lots of water. So forgive me if I have to clear my throat. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I've been sick with bronchitis and sinusitis, which is basically an upper respiratory and sinus infection. I've been on a Z-Pack and steroids. I have not had a fever. I do not have coronavirus. Um, everybody automatically assumes when you are coughing, you know, you've got the cough. It's like it's not a dry cough. It is the wet cough with lots of phlegm and spit and all that junk. But this is the time you tell people that as gross as it sounds because the dry cough is the coronavirus. And it's only when you have a fever and if you have those two, the, the tightness, those three things, tightness of chest, dry cough, and a fever, that they do the, the public Department of Public Safety does a test on you to see if you have it. So, um... I do not have it, but I have bronchitis as a bear because <laughs> it takes six to eight weeks to get over even after it's been cleared up. Like right now it's been cleared up. Like when I do have the wet cough or spit, it's clear. There's no infection at all. So I just want to let y'all know that. Some of you have been asking, are you better? I appreciate it. Some of you, I think, may have even been concerned. Gosh, did Beth get coronavirus? No, I didn't. So, and I've said that, but I just want to reiterate it. And I've been you know, better for about three or four days now. It's just I'm still a little laryngitis. If I talk a lot, I still get a little overheated, I guess, in the chest or whatever. And it makes me cough. So that's why I'm trying to drink a lot of water. Forgive me if I, without thinking, just clear my throat because there is, you know, what am I trying to say instead of spit them? Phlegm. None of it's nice, y'all. It's just part of being a human being and having a body that's not perfect. I can't wait till we get to go home to Jesus. And we have perfect bodies. I can't wait to see what it's like. That body's like. It's going to be incredible. Okay, so all that being said, I am going to do a haul of what I purchased at Sephora. We have a new Sephora in Peachtree City, Georgia. I guarantee you, you will not have wasted your time if you come from out of town to come see it. It's amazing. It's wonderful. The people are so sweet. They're so knowledgeable. Because I had all kinds of problems that um, with my card. Um, my husband gave me for Christmas a Sephora card, but it was through a third party. I think it was called Happy Her that he got at the Kroger, where actually that's fourth party. So anyway, um, it didn't work. And she worked and worked and worked with me. And then we got on the phone with somebody. Finally ended up getting it to work. But So I used my $100 card. And so I got $100 worth of things. And so I got this wonderful uh, Sephora bag. And this is so cute, y'all. It's like a parka. It's like... Do uh, goose down filled or something. I don't know if y'all can see the ribbing. And then it's got these really nice heavy canvas straps with Sephora on it. And you can, as you can see, turn that into a um, backpack or a shoulder strap. Or it also has hand straps. So this is a really nice... I can see why they said you gotta have $100. Because that's a really nice tote. I mean, some of the totes are nice, some aren't. What did I put in there? I put my jewelry in there. Right over there okay it also has a little pocket inside so I mean it's really nice all right so I'm just gonna start going through stuff we'll do reviews at another time so um, first of all um, actually I'm gonna do I actually got two of them because I also opened a Sephora uh, credit account while we were trying to straighten out the card so I ended up getting two things so anyway <clears throat> the first thing I got because I wanted to clean my um, my brushes um, Y'all know that I'm a huge uh, fan of the IT um, brush bath, and I still am. I love that. I feel it's one of the best ones, but I want to try this. This is the one that Sephora, one of the ones that um, they had there called Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics. And inside, well, I'll do, I'll actually do a cleaning so that y'all can see this, but this is the starter kit. So what it basically has inside is the Cinema Secrets um, Makeup Brush Cleaner. And it's 99.99 bacteria free, so and it's quick drying, and it's rinse. It's a rinse-free formula. 
So there's one, and what you do is you pour some of it in this little canister that they give you, and then you put your brush down in it, and then I use a regular towel, not a nice towel, I like one of my older towels or a colored towel, not, not a, a white one, and then I put on top of that a couple of pieces of paper towels, and that's how I clean off, because you'll go through a lot of, a lot of them. Um, so anyway, that's one method that I would like to try, and I feel like, um, I feel like this is going to be good for you know every few days cleaning your brushes you should clean your brushes some people say two weeks that's not true you really should clean your brushes every single day because it does harbor bacteria but just being practical you sh you know we're not going to do that so at least clean them once a week not once two weeks that's too long to wait um now to spot clean them meaning get you out a paper towel spray the paper towel now you never spray the brush and this is one of Sephora's brands, and it's Quick Clean, Dry Clean, and it's an instant brush cleaner, very much like the um, brush bath from IT Cosmetics. Also, Sigma Beauty has one, but it's more like this where it's an actual liquid cleaner. This is a spray. Again, you don't spray the brush. You spray a paper towel, and then you put the brush over it and just kind of swirl it around until it comes clean. So I got two different kinds. This is kind of for daily, and this is for once a week. Even though this says it's quick drying, rinse-free, I will probably still rinse afterwards. And every couple of weeks, you should do a deep cleaning, which means you get out a little bit of shampoo. Um, and again, you never put the brushes, you never sit them up like this because that means the water is dripping down in there and it will loosen the, the glue that's in there and it also loosens this ferrule. Um, but you swirl it around in the water with some shampoo and then just rinse it out, swirl it around and rinse it out again. And then you, with a, a towel, you get the excess moisture and then you, you know, do it, tap it out like that and then you lay it on its side. Never like that. Always like that or upside down so the water can drip out. So that's one thing that can help you from just, you know, keeping your brush clean, keep your eyes from getting infected. I also got a set of um, Sephora brushes. I don't have any Sephora brushes, and I just frankly thought these were pretty. Um, it doesn't have the one that I really wanted, which was, I think it's called the Air Max. But this has um, a powder brush, a foundation brush, a blush brush, a blending concealer brush, and a pointed concealer brush. So these are face brushes. And I'm sure they also have um, eye brushes, a set of eye brushes. But I started, I wanted to start off with this. I thought they were pretty, this real pale pink. I thought it was very, very pretty. Then um, I also got this. I didn't even know they had Hermes products at Sephora's. Sephora's usually has a little bit higher end than Ulta's do. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not as big of an Ulta fan as I used to be, Ulta fan as I used to be, because just I haven't had really good service there and they never stay in stock the ones that I've been to. So um, I'm really excited that I got a Sephora near me and I know that Sephora also carries higher end brands. It carries um, Dior and Yves Saint Laurent and Makeup Forever and just all kinds of, of makeups besides the typicals like, you know, Urban Decay and Too Faced and all those kinds. I'm not a huge fan of Too Faced that much really anymore. Um, and there's some that I like and some that I don't. And I think I'm just a palette queen. I've got so many palettes, it's ridiculous. So I only got one palette this time, which was amazing. But um, I did not know that they had Hermes. I was like, Hermes what? And it's Hermes Fragrance. And this is a perfume discovery set. So it's got their four products, and I'm sure they're the small size. Let's just open it and see them. Cause I, you know one thing I can't stand is when people do hauls and then they don't let you see stuff. <laughs> so there's the Hermes box. The famous orange and black or orange and brown black box. Oh, these are decent little sizes. Actually, I have tried one of these. I think it's this one, Jorda, and I loved it. And I think I've actually tried that too and I loved it. It was a garden one. So they're very pretty. This would be a really nice present too. Like if you wanted to give... Uh, like your bestie or somebody, um, a birthday present or just a, for no good reason it's spring present. Little things like this are good because they can try the perfumes too. You're not picking a perfume for them. This is a good way for them to try it. And um, I can't remember how much this was. 
I'm sorry, I don't have my receipt. But um, I'm sure that was not a super cheap. I think it was under $100 or something. But, um, you know, so different, you know, ones you might want to get for different people. But still, sometimes when you go to these things, you might, if, if you see something, you don't see anything you want, you might see something you might get for a gift. Matter of fact, I did get two of these, and one of these I'm going to give to my bestie. <laughs> All right, so I also got Clinique Fresh Pressed Daily Booster with Pure Vitamin C to help with age spots, especially this one's darker, and then I've got them right along through here. And so um, the Clinique, the gal that does Clinique there, she said, you know, I know you like this, the new wrinkle-free dark spot product. She goes, but if you really want to get rid of dark spots, do the Vitamin C Booster and start immediately because it does start to wane after two weeks of being opened so and it tells you all about how to use it and everything so we'll see I'll start using it probably tomorrow and I'll let y'all know do I feel like it made that much a difference um, so we'll see and then um, I also got my famous TARDIS dual ended um, liner it's got a crayon liner on one end and it's got a felt tip liquid liner on the other and it's just really great to keep in your purse for touch up or also getting ready in the morning it's got both products and while I do like my DHC I like the simplicity of this and I do like the product enough you know I do like the it cosmetics um, no tug wear but really um, crayon this crayon is comparable and I hate when that thing goes off um, all right so also I wanted to get a blush I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just going to let it go. Um, I wanted to get a, 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 not a blush, a bronzer. And um, I'll show you the one that I actually did want to get. And I ended up getting it anyway. Because it just, it's what I really wanted. It's what I came for. And that is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. And this is in 102 Tantric. And part of it is the packaging. I'll be really honest. Oh my gosh, this was supposed to be white. What's the black one? That's fine. I really wanted the white one. I did like this color a lot. I might take this back. But there's the color. 